The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. All right. Delaware Beaches. More than just sand between your toes, right? Absolutely. We've got a listener who's, well, they're really diving deep this time. History, beaches, shopping. Oh, and uh, okay. a little curiosity about the, shall we say, natural side of Delaware's coastline. Not our usual combo platter. You're not kidding. That's what I love about this show, though. Always something different. So beaches, history, and maybe a touch of the... Uh, Let's just say unconventional thrown in for good measure. That's one way to put it. Listeners have been digging into historic sites, shopping guides, even the legalities of nude beaches. Interesting. Well, on that note. Yeah, about those nude beaches. Always good to know the local rules, right? Right. And Delaware, beautiful beaches, don't get me wrong, but maybe not the first place it springs to mind for a uh, clothing optional relaxation. Not top of the list for that then. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. But we're all about exploring those unique angles. And speaking of unique, a listener mentioned coastal beauty. What makes Delaware's beaches stand out? We were talking Jersey Shore boardwalk vibes or something different. Think less boardwalk hustle and bustle, more. Classic seaside charm. Okay. Picture this. Gentle waves, salt air, maybe a whiff of saltwater taffy from a nearby stand. It's that nostalgic beach town feel, very family friendly. I can almost smell the taffy now. Exactly. You've got Rehoboth Beach, the classic boardwalk, cute shops, that kind of thing. Or Bethany Beach, more laid back, known for those pristine stretches of sand. Sounds idyllic. Right. And you can't forget the history. Listeners interested in that, too. Anything near those beaches worth checking out? Oh, absolutely. Delaware's coast is steeped in history. Near Rehoboth, there's the Indian River Life Saving Station, dates back to the late 1800s. Wow. Really gives you a feel for those early Coast Guard days, rescuing people from shipwrecks. And if you're up for a little drive, Lewis, one of the oldest settlements in the U.S., founded in 1631. 1531. Or, Seriously. No kidding. Beautiful colonial architecture, fascinating museums, like taking a step back in time. No, amazing. All right. So we've got beaches, history. Can't forget the shopping. Listener mentioned tax-free shopping. Always a bonus. What's the deal with that in Delaware? Ah, yes. The Delaware Advantage. Mm. No sales tax. Big draw for a lot of folks, especially if you're after big ticket items, electronics, clothes, you name it. Plenty of outlet malls, especially around Rehoboth. Makes sense. But if you want something a bit different, those downtown areas, Luce, Milford, they've got these great independent boutiques, antique shops. You never know what treasures you might find. Sounds right up our listener's alley. Yeah. So... A little bit of everything then. Relaxation, exploration, a dash of history, and of course, some smart shopping. Sounds like a plan in the making. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's the beauty of Delaware's beaches. Something for everyone. Absolutely. But hey, here's a thought for your listener as they finalize their trip. It's great to have plans, right? Of course. But sometimes it's those unplanned moments, those little discoveries you make along the way. Those become the memories you really cherish. Ooh, I like that. Leave a little room for serendipity. Exactly. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.